Alright guys, welcome back to more Ruby. I'm going to be playing Yang today, and then I'm going to finish off with Weiss. Um, I'll just start playing immediately. <clears throat> and I'm going to be the host this time, because I found out it makes it a lot easier to, uh, to kill shit if you're uh, the host. So, I've played this game a lot, SCP-40. Hey, can someone tell me what SCP-40 is? That makes me wonder. Um, but, Yang, here we go. So, I found ways to get to level 10 for those who are playing and have yet to uh, figure it out. Um, but I found ways to get to 10, and uh, it's just a little bit of farming, not too much. Um, what else? So I'll be doing a review on this video, uh, later, or not later, after I do Weiss and Yang. Um, once I complete them, I will do a review video. While doing this review video, I will be, uh, showing you the, um, new abilities that you're able to unlock once you get to level 10, because there's only, like, uh, right there. Yeah, che Cheetah, Cheetah, Yang, Yang? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you have to reach level 10 to unlock this ability. And it's kind of hard to do so. Um, so, also they added volume to this game now, so now I'm able to turn down the volume. So it's probably a, a really low for you guys because I had it turned down on my um, recording setting too. I'll probably turn it back up here in a second. We'll see. Um, oh, sorry. Ah, what the? My mouse is stuck. There we go. So also, no, I'm gonna do that in my review video. Uh, I'll say it now. I'll say what I think now, and I'll do a review video just to if people wanted to go there to see what uh, I think. Um, so I found out that uh, that while I'm playing this, I feel like I'm competing for XP with my rest of my team. It's not very much team based like it should be. Uh, what else did I want? What is complaining about? But that's the big thing I hated was just like I had to race to get XP in order to get to level ten. Ooh, sunbreak and blast wave. So it looks like Yang just punches everything, and to finish off, she uh, fires her gun. But yeah, it seems like, a, like, a, ugh, like I'm racing to get XP from people, like trying to get the last hit, because I noticed if you get the last hit on a creature, it gives you the XP instead of, um, instead of, um, gives you the XP instead of your friend. So if you use your gun, you can snipe it across the map and get it. Which is kind of sucks. Also with Yang and Blake, I've been, or Yang, uh, with uh, Blake and uh, Ruby, I've been kicking ass. I even got it to the point where, what is that? I even got it to the point with Yang, where I, or with, um, I think it was Blake or Ruby, I can't remember. I was actually able to, um, sorry, I was actually able to uh, get to level 10 before even entering the caves. So yeah, I've yucked. All, I've yucked. I've unlocked all the abilities for Yang and Ruby, or I keep saying Yang, Ruby, Blake, and uh, Ruby. I'll see if I can get to level ten with Yang with this. I haven't played her enough, so I don't know. But we'll see what happens.
but I've also been finding for some reason when I'm doing it solo, I keep getting knocked out of the game for any reason. I might try it again um, for uh, if if this video lasts long enough. See, and also I get MVP. I really don't think that should be a thing. It does make you try to kill stuff faster, but I feel like that uh, I'm trying to like kill steal stuff from enemies and try to make it so they can't get anything too. From my enemies, my uh, my allies. Did someone grab it? Okay. Um, but yeah, I got like a uh, Blake's fire clone. Um, I got Ruby's um, dust blast thing. I've yet to play with it though. Uh, the fire clone is pretty badass. It worked really well in the small stuff, but not so much the big stuff. Did some damage to the big stuff, but not too much. Um, we'll save up for that. See what it does. Actually, nah. I'll do this. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna turn this up quickly. There we go. I don't know how loud it is for you guys now, but hopefully it's uh, evened out. Sorry for the per un in what is the word for? Like, not professionalism, but the opposite of that. Um, sorry, I don't have any of that because uh, this game you can't play in windowed mode. Maybe you can now because I think they updated it with like the sound. But Yang looks like she does a lot of damage with her uh, normal attack. More than other people, at least. Oh, pa -pa -pa. Let's try. Let's try using my blast even more often. See what happens. See if it's more single target than the other ones. Does it do any damage? Not really. Hmm. <laughs> I think uh, Sunbreak is more um more single target, and Quake is more. I need to read it. This. What does it do? So W is definitely meant more for single target, and Quake is meant more for AoE. <laughs> Defeat enemies while your aura is depleted to unlock this ability. 1 to 5. Well, that would be easy enough. I do that all the time. Even with Yang, where she does more damage when... Or not... What I meant to say was, even with Yang, who does more damage with her auto attack. Uh, so this is what I'm saying right now, it's like we just spawn in and um, I'm like holding shift to run faster and I feel like I'm trying to race everyone behind me to get to the boxes, that way I can open them up and see, what's, see if I get anything. I really feel like those boxes shouldn't be a thing. Bum, 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 bum. 
I will this yeah, I will admit this game is very repetitive, but it's still very fun because um since you can't save what you do. You see what happened there? Blake got most of the XP or most of the damage, but I was the one that got the last hit. Also, I was going to say, for one of my reviews, I was going to say there needs to be a difficulty setting. Because I swear, when I uh, try to dodge these stuff, it comes in way too fast for me to try to dodge it in time. So I can like dance around and be very fast paced about it. So I guess her right click can actually destroy these things, but no one else's can. I swear these character models though have such detail to them, I think they must have grabbed it straight from one of the uh, animation team. I feel like Yang doesn't lunge as much as um, her other teammates, or at least as Ruby and Blake. She's very, just feel very powerful, I will say. Gives a nice satisfaction of the, her being powerful. Why didn't that do any damage? What the hell? See, I sometimes have that happen for some reason, too. I got one, right? Yeah. Let's save it for that one. See, the second is over, I feel like I'm running trying to get the next boxes. That way I can get to level 10. So that's where that artifact was, okay. I think I've discovered all the artifacts, because I think that was the last one I didn't know of, where someone just randomly got it for me. Level 3, whoops, I kept hitting uh, E. Ah, 
I was trying to get some kills while I was while I had my aura thing down. See, that did no damage again. Why was that? That satisfying sound punch... Uh, yeah, satisfying sound of that punch, though, was nice. <laughs> See, I, I find that I'm always racing to get that XP before him. See, I, I, see I stole it from him, I think. This one. Let's see what it does. Whoops, one. It doesn't really matter that the control center is under attack. All that really matters is to get the kills, I feel like. And even the kills don't matter as long as I do the extra the damage. I guess you got the MVP on that one. Oh, and also I got a flawless wave one time, where it gave me more experience for doing a flawless wave. I don't know what that means 100% because I think I had my aura level drop to zero. I didn't die, but I had my aura level drop to zero. But um, I have my I have my uh, aura level always go down to zero all the time. And I always never die on any of the other ones, so I don't know why I would fall this wave. I feel like I'm always trying to dodge and hold shift, that way I can get to the mob faster before he does, or they do. Glitch? Is that the first glitch I've seen? Oh, there it goes. I notice these guys can be sunlocked, which is nice. Yeah, I think our auto attack's a lot higher, but her um, specials aren't that great.
Well. What next? What next? Oh, well, we know what's next. Kind of repetitive in that aspect, but I want to see what she gets. Oh, it's gonna read those. I got more kills, but he got a higher score. Must have did more damage. Yeah, I think. Uh, Yang tends to be a lot of uh, tanking, I'm assuming. Not really so much tanking, but... I'll just be, my, be by myself? Me by myself? Well, I guess just me and you now, guys. Let's uh, get through this. I think this might also be a video of me showing you where all the artifacts are, or I won't make it one, but if you ever do want to play this, you'll know where they all are. I feel like the map also needs to have like a north or south or something to know which way I'm facing. I don't know. It just kind of feels like it's very static if I do that, or if, if you don't do that. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what my uh, third talent does here. When I hold it down, it says it sends out rocks, but I don't see any rocks. No. Quick sends a line of rock pillars forward, and with which each deal damage and knock enemies up. I didn't see no end of that. Also, this little arrow here, when it's off my map or when it's off my screen, I don't see it. I can only see it on my mini map. So I feel like that they need to implement something like that where I know where to go. Where it tells me like twice where to go. Kind of like an arrow pointing you in this direction and also your mini map. By the way, I'm not a game designer, I'm just trying to give my opinion as a player. I was going to say, or one of the things I was also going to mention in my review, I'll probably still do my review even though I'm saying it all now. Um, that's cool she goes down like that. Um, one of the things I was going to say though is when I'm attacking and I try to dodge. Huh. Oh, that's right, I was just testing something there apparently. You move a little bit faster, I was wondering. Um. There's another effect, by the way. Uh, when I'm attacking, or when I'm being attacked, I feel like when I try to dodge to move out of the way, I get myself, um, um, it, it doesn't like get me out of the way fast enough. Especially when I'm getting uh, t t attacked, you feel like I'm getting um, interrupted. And I feel like when you're being attacked, you should be able to dodge out of the way to get out of there quick enough. Also, when I'm attacking and I see him that he's, about to, he's like flashing white, and he's about to attack me, I try to hit shift to move out of the way, but it doesn't interrupt myself. So what I'm trying to say is, is it finishes my animation of me doing something, like attacking. Whether it's like half a second, a quarter of a second, very small amount. I hit shift in that second 
or in that half, a quarter of a second or whatever, and it doesn't make me uh, move. And so, of course, my reaction time is not fast enough to move away from that guy. So, you'll probably see it with the Ursa. It's, like, ridiculous with the Ursa. But, um, you'll see what I mean. How it's, like, impossible to try to move away from him fast enough. That's what I, I've, and that's what I've played from Hyrule Warriors, is, um, when I do dodge, it interrupts myself. But I'm, like, in the middle of, but the, <coughs> sorry. When I'm in the middle of, about to att uh, attack something, or, uh, or in the middle of trying to kill something, and all of a sudden I see someone about to attack me, I can hit my dodge button and get out of there before it happens to me. Oh, there is, there is a wave that goes forward. That's cool. Good to know. And it kills uh, these small guys too, that's good. There's a lot of dead air down here, I feel like. I'm not dead air, but dead space they could use for, um, for more talents. So, I'll show you right now, actually, of what I mean by, um, I can't interrupt myself. By the way, I'm already level 8 out of 10, which is ridiculous, because I'm not even close to finishing this place yet. Um, let's see. So when she does her kick there, you guys see that kick that she does at the very end of her combo? I'll have to do it again. It's, like, very, very quick. I think when I hit shift during that, yeah, I can't run away. Also, that's what it also is, is um, I'm pushing forward to, because uh, there's no lock-on system in this game. So I'm pushing forward to make sure to hit this target in particular. And so when I hit shift, or when I hit shift to dodge, I'm sh dodging towards him. I'm not dodging away from him, because I'm moving myself towards him. I remember someone saying there needs to be a lock-on system, and with me saying that I can't dodge like, like I'm supposed to, that might be one of the reasons why. It's because I'm dodging into him, so I'm not going anywhere. So yeah, I think they might need to implement some, some sort of lock-on system. See, look at that. That was incredibly fast. That's why I was saying there needs to be difficulty settings so I can dodge that fast enough. It's a dodge. It's like, it's quick. No, I tried to hit dodge that time to get myself away before he even did anything to me. Before he even flashed white, I tried to dodge and he didn't let me. Oh yeah, also, if an orb did spawn here, there's an invisible wall here. I can't, I can't um, grab the orb. If it were to spawn there, I've had it happen a couple times. So I'm just like, well, it's not even worth grabbing going for that box anymore. Wait. 
Oh yeah, this is another thing I've been noticing they have. They actually have split pathways. Sometimes this area is blocked off and you go over that way. Or above, or Yang, above Yang's head. And you can see there's a box right there too. But uh, but that's kind of cool how they have different paths each, each time you play. So there is some re replayability value, but there's very little as in you go in different directions. I remember back in the forest or grassy area, there were two different directions to go to. Um, they kind of just block them off in different ways. It's really cool how they do that. Um, anyway, let's go and continue on. Also right here, I f sh should feel like I should be able to jump through this big window, but it's invisible wall, so I can't, which kind of sucks. By the way, there's an artifact right there. See, I don't know why some of those guys are invulnerable to me. See right there, like look at this giant visible wall. I thought there would be like right around that corner, I thought there was going to be like a uh, artifact one time when I was playing, and then I realized there's a giant invisible wall there. Did I see a Grim stuck in the wall? Oh no, it came through. Not, not stuck in the wall, but stuck between two buildings. And then, of course, you come down over here if you go to the other area. Now we'll see if I want to climb up there. Must be, I bet you there's probably a giant invisible wall, so you can't. Just that smacking of the punch is amazing. So it was in this area where I found out where I could farm to level 10, or at least get me some extra experience so I could get myself into level 10 in the next area. Also you can get yourself to level 10 or at least farm some XP if you have some friends and just let them keep dying over and over and you can res them with uh, with this talent right here, revive teammates much faster. By the way, I think that 25 experience is not a lot, it's actually quite a lot. I do like she has a knockback when she kicks with her final thing there. Don't hit me more. There we go. Got three of five. Oh, her kick does like 800 damage when she kicks him away. Here we go, Ursa, and then the Ursa boss is the one I was saying that you could farm off of. See, when he starts his cast, he should finish his cast in s facing the same direction. Otherwise, I have to dodge at the last second for when he uh, actually does his attack. Like right now, I have to dodge. Now. Nope. Too too soon. Also one swipe is annoying. One swipe and your aura is gone? Well, it makes sense.
When it's just him, my shotgun blast should actually be able to hurt him. Oh, relentless. What was that? So this is the boss or so I was telling you guys about. You can farm these little guys and the little guys won't stop dying. Or won't stop respawning. So even though it is VX5 XP, if I just kill 10 more of these guys, I'll be level 9. I noticed I grabbed songs from the uh, show that you can't really download. Which is nice. Uh, head itches. Unless they patched it so these guys actually stopped spawning, which I don't think they have. There we go, level 9, see? Now I can use all my special too. I'll be killing this guy's way easier with four people. There sure must be like a scaling thing for how much health they have. Ow. Well, I guess this guy would be an interesting. I can get, easily get my relentless right here. Just, there we go. And. Let me go get my order back and do it again. Come on, do your thing. There we go. I already have it? I must already have it. Well, that's OP. Ah, why does my head itch so much? Oh great, attack him right at that moment. Also I had it when I was me and a guy doing this boss, and this is when I just figured out that you could actually farm these guys. So I was actually farming these guys for the longest time, and I actually came in and got the last hit on the, um, on the Ursa. And I got all the XP from it, and he didn't. So I was finding out that I was like, yeah, I was, I was not, at that moment I was like, yeah, I'm not trying to, uh, this is not Team Ruby, this is like all Ruby against each other. It's like Ruby free-for-all. And yes, it sounds like a lot of fanfics. What is the ship name for all of Ruby? It should be like a special one, not just Team Ruby. Knowing the fans, they're actually, um, smart, they can come up with something. Kill him! I noticed this with this stuff falling down, it's actually a, not, I want to say scripted, but it falls down the exact same way every time. Like the, all the rubble goes in the exact same direction, there's no, there's nothing that makes it go in a different direction. And I, was, I always miss those tips. If anyone can tell me in the comments, that'd be great. I was always wondering what those tips mean. I noticed one tip actually said, holding dodge causes you to sprint. Which is true, but some people might even know what dodge is. Like, what, what, what button do I hit to, to use dodge? See, that's a really bad one right here. Look at that invisible wall. I have to go right over here to get to uh, jump off. So, yeah, that's kind of a stupid one. Also, I can't walk on that. So 
Too bad the music isn't continuous. It only, music tends to only start up when you start fighting stuff. Also, when big ad or big bosses come up, it like special music comes in, which is nice too. Oh, oh yay! Oh, it's level ten. For those who play World of Warcraft, I, when I saw this was called the Undercity, I was like, oh, I think they might have stole that from WoW. And like, no, my buddy was like, no, nah, that's probably not true. I'm like, yeah, it's probably not. Oh, two boxes. Artifact. Grim, get over here. Someone was mentioning. Yang should be able to do more damage to Ursa. Reason being is because she's based off of Goldilocks. And everyone heard that. The guy that said that, and everyone all his buddies around him just face palmed. It was amazing. Die, die, die. Die, die. Punch, punch, punch. So, to the Grim that are green in here, do you guys think we'll uh, see those in the uh, show? Have someone try to use Grimm as a weapon, which is an, a basic story plot we tend to see a lot. All these guys are going, dodge! Also, I notice if you dodge in these guys at, like the, at a certain point, I don't know when, they'll start rolling in circles. And make it so they'll try to hit you and turn to hit you. It's like annoying. It's like, that's not fair at all. I thought you were supposed to dodge it. But I got these boxes. Ow. It seems like for certain things when you have to do to, to unlock it, it unlocks it for all the characters, which I think should make it so people are able to play it more. So the, what I mean is you should make it so you have to do that across every character. Like for um, for me to get more aura, I have to kill like 3,000 I think, or 2,000 uh, Grim. But that was only for, that was across all four characters. So you should make it so I have to do that all four of my characters in order to get that. Oh, it's this one here. I, I could have done this, to unlock this, I could have done it on any character. It's only the special ones are uh, you have to do on them. So, have I gotten enough for that yet? Uh, I'll probably go into this one when I hit 10. When Yang's aura depletes, it, or when it's depleted, she regenerates all special and has 30, has a, has a 30 second cooldown? Oh, second wind has a 30 second cooldown. I was like, what does it mean by it, by it has a 30 second cooldown? I thought they were talking like me using my special. I can only use my specials once every 30 seconds. It's interesting. It's an interesting one. Second wind. I really want to know what that is. Also, when I'm hitting tab, it, you hit tab to bring it, go make it go away, but I'm too used to um, hitting tab and then escaping out of it. But escape brings me to the menu, so you should try to fix that one. Also, you hit T to type. Oh, I got my caps lock on. You hit T to type. And you hit enter to escape, or to get out of it, I guess. You can't hit, uh, you should also be allowed to hit T and then hit escape. It's not bringing up the menu. Um, and then if you, and if you guys are wondering, well, if you hit escape to get rid of this, then how are you going to bring up the menu? Just hit escape again. Escape, escape. But, anyways, that's besides the point. Um... I should be able to hit enter to talk. I'm hitting enter right now and nothing's happening. I should be able to hit enter to talk to them, but uh, it's not. you can't do that. So it's just one of those things that they should implement. I should be able to keybind that now that I think about it. Oh, these ones. So these are the ones I was talking about that I was thinking they should bring into the game, into the uh, show. Sadly, I noticed in this game they actually don't do anything. They just stand here next to you and they try to hug you. It's only when you attack them like this. Boom. Your aura is gone. So you have to keep your distance from them. And try to attack them with your gunshots. With Yang, it's going to be kind of hard. You'll see a lot more of those later on.
So I'll be uh, getting Yang's abilities up there after I finish this, after I showed you guys what she looks like. Mm. After I finish this off, I'm going to be uh, working on... Actually, I'm going to play Weiss immediately after. That way I can work on both of them. And then uh, I'll be back with the review video, plus in that video I'll show you um, um, what those characters look like. Oh, I should get rid of this Ursa quickly, because it's going to hurt... Now I won't be able to get any special off of them. I just have to kill them with my auto attacks, and that's only my auto attacks because you can't damage them with anything else. This is the tedious part, I notice. I'm doing a good job, keep dodging like this. Just do two or one, one or two punches and dodge. Got him. I think, oh no, that's it. Now, hopefully I can get to level 10 before this thing is over. I should be able to. How much do I need to get? I know there's two artifacts that I can get in here. So, minus 200 from that, I need to get... Uh, 600? And 30? 630? With Yang? It's going to be tough. Eh, I'll be able to do it later on, I know for sure. Because I'll have that second win for sure, because that's OP as hell. But I'll probably spec into Quake immediately. Quake? Well, I'll probably see if I've unlocked this one right here. And if I have, then I'll probably uh, go for it. Anyway. Also, there's crates in here, so, like I said, those crates make a huge of a difference. So they might be able to get those. Nothing for that one. Oh, there's some over here, that's right. There we go. Minus 50 from that. So what is that now? Oh, I can't do the math on that one off the top of my head. What did I say? What did I say? 630? Minus 50, that'd be 570, I think. What's that sound? Hmm. Wonder who's making that sound. But I noticed um, if you do it correctly with your teammate already being there, you could um, get this thing moving and like across the entire track within a minute, so you don't have to worry about the thing half the time. But I find that you have to really work to get to level 10. Uh, there's uh, one artifact over here. Oh, look at that, more XP, thank goodness. So I think I should be able to get to level 10, no problem, now that I see this. Uh, and there's more of those green guys. They're super annoying. I'm glad they have just enough health so that way anyone's auto attack can't 100% kill them. You have to do this. That supercharger guy is really annoying. 
You can dodge out of it, but like I was saying, dodge is very finicky for me, so... Ow! Nope. Oh, green stuff. More XP, so I should definitely be able to get it. Just do your cheap shots here and there to try to get uh, the damage going on these guys. Well, the fact that those guys give 10 XP and they're really easy to kill. Well, I guess Yang's thing is makes it very easy now that I think about it. Even though it's extremely short range, um, it was impossible to try to aim with everyone else. Because uh, they would be single target and there's no lock-on system, so it was impossible to try to attack them. Ooh, epic music. Kill, 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 kill before I- oh, oh! Oh, if that guy had charged me, he probably would have been game over. Here, Ursa, sorry, Ursa. But watch too much fairy tale. So I can definitely get to level 10. I just need to get to this thing. So I'm just gonna avoid all these guys now. Kill them if I can. But I'm gonna avoid all these guys and get the artifact. Whoop. Fuel is almost out. Let's get the last bit of dust. Oh, we got plenty of time. We can do this. Haha. <laughs> Cheap shot. Oh, whoops. And here we go. You guys ready to see Yang? At level 10? There's the last artifact. Boom! That's one. Get out of here! I want you all out of my face! Every single one of you! Including you! Oh, I better get more dust so that way I can actually finish this. But the room you guys see behind me, that's the last of it. After you kill that, there's like nothing left to- nothing else spawns. Stupid Ursas. I think that can get it all the way for a full 20%. Uh, no. Not quite. And we killed all the, uh, Grim. Look at that. Woo! Yeah, get wrecked, Grim. Kaboom. You know, I put it on ultra settings, and it, 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 I don't see any difference. <laughs> like, at all. I think the only thing I see is, oh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, but the only thing I really think I notice is the fact that there's no, um, no textures flashing in and out. See, from a graphics standpoint, I don't really care 
um, of what oh, there it goes of what the game looks like. I don't really care. It's just more the gameplay is that I feel like. And this one, the gameplay is very nice. Um, I do like that there to be a little bit more scenery, so a little bit more maps will be nice for me too. But I can look past the graphics like really uh, a lot. Uh, let's select the character, and this time we're gonna play as Weiss. Fuck, game over. Nice. Oh, he left. Oh wait, now I have to end it. Duh. Um, thanks for watching. This was Yang ga ga Yang's gameplay. Um, I'm playing Weiss next, and then I am going to do a review video. But before I do that review video, I have to make sure I get everyone's um, ultimates up so you can see what they look like and everything. Anyway, bye. Uh, which one? Not that one.